Hey Aquarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a reading to see what messages the divine currently has for you in love. Okay, I hope you guys are well. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you for supporting me. Your support helps me grow and it helps me to get the messages out to as many of you as possible. So if the reading resonates, please be sure to press that like button. It also lets me know you want to see more of these videos. Okay, if you're here for the first time, welcome as well. Perhaps you were led here because Spirit has messages for you. Never force a reading. If this is for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force a reading, okay? Keep in time that time is fluid as well. So anytime you press play on the videos, it's time for you to receive the messages. Cross watchers, you are welcome. I think I said that already. I don't know. But keep in mind the rules may be reversed. may flip the messages as needed if necessary. <laughs> this reading is going to be for Aquarius and for those who have Aquarius in their chart. We're going to start this read off by pulling your mutual energy, the mutual energy shared between you and your person. Okay. So Spirit, please show me Aquarius's mutual energy, please. Show me the mutual energy for Aquarius and their person. I got the hair of it. Okay. Show me more for Aquarius. What messages you have? more please that wants to come out okay all right so um i have the hero friend taurus energy because you can be connecting with the taurus but it could be any sign um i just feel like the energy of just wanting a traditional relationship you know wanting you and your person you know sharing the same values um, just trying to take an approach that's about conforming to the relationship and committing to it. Something serious, like I feel like a really serious commitment, like like lifelong partner, even if it's not specifically marriage, but just being in it for the long haul, okay? And I just feel like there's a contemplating energy right now between the two of you where you're like, I'm thinking about, you know, I want in on this, you know, I want this for a lifetime. You know, so but the, this this connection did not come without its challenges. I got the lovers star reverse, page of wands, and nine of pentacles reverse. I feel like with the nine of pentacles reverse, I feel like this it was like someone in this connection was making very hasty decisions, or their actions was a bit hasty, um, and it was causing issues in conflicts in this connection um i also get like it got to the point where someone was focusing on the negative all the time um and it was feeling like this is hopeless like i don't really have faith that this is going to work out yet you you two are like i don't get a Aquarius energy with the star reverse um that's your card and i also feel like with the lovers that you guys felt like you know but we're in it you know this is my soulmate this is my kindred spirit this is the person that i do want to be with but um it doesn't come without its challenges because of this person i'm getting like just not really being responsible this person is not really being responsible i feel like there was some challenge with your person approaching certain situations maturely but i also feel like it was like you know what let's let's work on this and i feel like you're trying to change the narrative i feel like you both are committed to this connection and you feel optimistic about it working that's why the current energy is the hierophant like we want this commitment we want this together through all the challenges we want this to work but you know again um there's, there's there was a lot of challenges here with the ten of cups reverse i feel like someone here was lacking there was there this connection was lacking stability and security because someone here was raised in a dysfunctional home okay Excuse me for one second, guys. It's gonna keep going off if I don't turn it off.
I feel like someone in this connection is emotionally immature. They're not that experienced with serious relationships. They want it. They want it. They love you. But at the same time, they're learning within this relationship how relationships work. And it's because of their upbringing. It wasn't, it wasn't a stable upbringing. Um, again, I'm getting dysfunctional family, an unhappy upbringing in a home. And so therefore, there's some childhood trauma that affected this connection. I'm gonna reshuffle that only because it didn't land up or down. <laughs> Show me more, please. Okay. Yeah, I feel like someone allowed somebody to get in their head about this connection. Somebody on the outside was given like bad advice. It was like external forces causing disruption in this connection. It could have been an ex, it could have been a family member with this will of fortune reverse, but somebody was definitely in the head of you or your person and just disrupting the, the, the harmony that you two were trying to create, okay? Show me more, please. I feel like you and your person, though, you really, you're feeling enthusiastic. You're taking it a little bit at a time. Page energy is not big energy, but it's big enough. And, you know, what you guys have in the current, you know, mutual energy of the Hierophant, you guys want this commitment, you want stability that comes with the commitment. And I feel like you guys are trying to manifest that. Someone in this connection is trying to manifest this, the security and stability that they need with this Ace of Pentacles. And you're trying to let go of past issues, okay? This might be your person. Um, I'm getting a lot of pentacles. Um, with the pentacles, I'm getting a lot of earth energy, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but it could be any sign. But I feel like, you know, your person is trying to let go of the issues that they brought into this connection due to their upbringing, okay? Six of Cups reverse. Yeah, they're trying to let go of the past and focus on the future. They're trying to be mature. Like, they really, really, your person really wants this to work. Show me more, please. Yeah, they want this to work. I get the Page of Cups. Like, someone even apologizing to you recently or going to apologize. It's someone who's just... They want to learn about the emotional issues. They want to do better. You know, they recognize there's a problem here and they're like, I want to make this up to you. So they're trying to offer some sort of um, token of love. You could get like a nice message or a gift or an apology. But they're just trying to emotionally connect with you. They really want this to work. Show me more. Yeah, they, Ten of Wands reverse. Cards don't lie. This person... There's a, you guys are like wanting to let go of anything that's burdening you two in this in this connection. And that's why your mutual energy is the hierophant. You both want this traditional relationship with shared values. Show me the breakdown in this connection, please, for a purpose. Show me, please. Show me the breakdown. Show me the breakdown. Okay. I'm getting three cards that flipped over. You gotta tell a story here, okay? I got the her the Hermit, Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Reverse, the Hangman, and the Seven of Swords. I feel like you guys are feeling really stagnant. There's a lot of stagnancy here in this connection in the past. Just feeling stuck, you know, um, not really putting in the work, just letting things happen, but trying to keep things balanced. But I also get like somebody just trying to look for, search for a spiritual enlightenment with this Hermit. Just trying to connect connect to their spiritual source and just praying on it and just trying to figure out how to make things worse um i also feel like there was some deception in this connection somebody felt deceived by the other person with the seven of swords um this deception also could have came from somebody on the outside again there was an external disruption in this connection with the will of fortune reverse um so there might have been somebody who was pretending to be a friend or somebody that you thought you can trust um Why is it seven of swords here? Ace of Cups reverse. So I really feel like the, your person, you or your person, somebody just miscarried this connection. So it was like, it was. I feel like it was your person. There might have been some infidelity here with the Ace of Cups reverse. It's like somebody wasn't showing up with their feelings, but they was acting out. They was being deceptive. And they miscarry this connection. I feel like that's your person and they feel bad about it. They do. I'm not going to say that I condone it. I'm just telling you 
why it happened. You know, actually, I'm not even telling you why it happened. I'm telling you that. Well, I did tell you why. Because this person has childhood issues. They don't. They don't recognize um, stability in a relationship because they wasn't raised that way. They didn't witness it in their upbringing. I'm not condoning it though. Show me more. But they recognize you're the empress. That you are the ideal partner. You're very nurturing. Like you're the perfect feminine partner. Feminine energy, I should say. Because the cards are not gender based. And they see you as the empress. And they're like, I gotta do better for Aquarius. So they, you know, um, they, again, this person, you and your person, you're thinking about commitment. Expect some action to come in really fast between you two. For those of you, if you're in separation with this person, because with this hermit card, I'm getting for some of you that you and your person are not even speaking right now, but you're contemplating making things right. But expect to hear from your person. Something's going to come in fast. Okay? There's going to be some quick communication. All right? So, Spirit, please show me the challenges for Aquarius. I got the seven of pentacles and the three of wands. Your challenges is to be patient with your person. You want this to work. You want this to work. You got, it's going to require patience and perseverance. You guys are going to have to come together and make a plan to move forward. Okay. I'm hearing hard work pays off, but your challenge is recognizing that in order for that hard work to pay off, you have to be patient with your person. So, Spirit, please show me advice for Aquarius, please. Show me advice for Aquarius. Actually, show me Aquarius's current feelings, please. What's Aquarius's current feelings? What's Aquarius's current feelings? I got the King of Wands reversed, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Swords reversed. You just recognize that your person has very, very, very been, been very selfish with you in this relationship. There were times they pulled back their energy from you, and you felt like you couldn't trust them. Like they was, they were, their intentions was themselves. Like their intentions was to focus on themselves. You felt like they wasn't looking out for you. You felt like you couldn't trust their energy. But, you know, now you're like, okay, I think this person is really someone that, that's willing to learn. Someone that I could be able to count on if they're willing to learn from their mistakes. Okay? So, please show me advice, please, for Aquarius. Advice for you is the Ace of Wands reversed, the Tower... The Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, I feel like your person goes to this connection. A lot of times they had a temper. They get mad. They didn't get their way. They wasn't willing to compromise. And they would storm off. And I feel like you feel like they wasted a lot of time. Um, and there was a lot of opportunities for them to make things right with you. But instead they chose to leave you out in the cold. Because I got the Ace of Wands reversed, the Tower with the Five of Pentacles, and again, the Knight of Swords reversed. So you feel like, you know, they left me out in the cold. Like, my person didn't show up for me. Um, so the advice that I have is this Tower moment has to happen. Things have to be destroyed so they can start all over again. So you guys, you had your Tower moment. So if you want to change the narrative, you have to allow something solid to build now. Because what you guys had in the past is the past, and you couldn't build on that. So it had to be destroyed. Okay, so now you need to focus on rebuilding this, this connection. And that's the advice that I have for you. All right, so before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some love oracle messages. Show me the messages that you have for Aquarius. You know, you and your person, you both want to make this right. They recognize they come with a lot of emotional baggage, unhealed trauma. Some, for some of you, this may require therapy to get things right, but there's a lot of love here. You, you guys are kindred spirits, and your person definitely wants to change the narrative. Trust. Transformation occur, occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Your person wants to make things right, okay? 
Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right, okay? So, you know, process your feelings, sit in them, process them, and then release them. Listen to your gut. Your gut is not going to lie to you, Aquarius. Friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. So focus on being friends more than lovers. Focus on learning, you know, to trust your partner again. They have to prove that they can be trusted. Build the friendship and watch how things change from there, okay? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Yeah, so don't use your moments to break each other down. The thing is to build each other up, okay? You could talk about how certain things affect you, process it, and release it. That's the kind of conversation you two need to have, okay? But don't focus on just putting each other down. Again, the goal is to build each other up. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you, Aquarius, for this reading. If it resonated, please let me know by liking, commenting, sharing, and or subscribing. To press that like button is completely free to you. It lets me know you want to see more of these messages. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.